say what objective means, because at the start you said that reality is independent of consciousness, so it's subjective, and then later you said that concepts are objective, but they're in your mind. They're very, not very good point. Objective actually has two senses. In the, in the metaphysical sense, which is the least important, it means simply independent of consciousness. But in, when we apply it to the products of, human, of the human mind, like ideas, thought, truths, value judgments, etc., we mean by objective that that content, the idea or whatever it is, was formed in accordance with a deliberate method based on the nature of reality. So that it is objective in the sense that the object, reality, is what the subject, the mind, was looking at at each stage in forming it. Objective does not mean true. You could even have an objective idea and yet make a mistake, as science sometimes has done, but by the very fact that it's objective, that it's based on a method, based on reality, it becomes self-correcting. You see from a thousand different ways that an error has been made, and you recorrect it. So objective means, in effect, a volitional adherence to reality in the process of forming your mental context. Now, what that method and adherence consists of, that's the whole subject of epistemology. How to form concepts, logic, etc. That's a very good point, though. And that is, that epistemological sense is by far the most important meaning of uh, objective. That's actually why Ayn Rand called her philosophy objectivism. Because there were philosophers before her who believed in reality independent of us, but th she's the first to believe that concept formation, and that's the key to the whole role of the mind, is objective. It's neither from another world a la Plato or just a social convention, which are the only basic choices that, that history offers.